and you'll look white with a beard, you'll look just like Christ. That's right. Facts. You look just like him. The same guy that this whole world acknowledges, knows, and tries to preach, you look just like him. They're lying on his name. They're right. lying saying that he loved everybody. He don't love everybody. He only care about you. Let me show right. you. Matthew 15, 24. He don't care about everybody. They had a, they had a white woman come up and ask him if, he, if she can be healed. Uh, daughter. Right? I want you to see what Christ said to her. Read this. The book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said. Because they had one of these kind of people come up to him, right? And say, hey, heal my daughter from this sickness. He said to her, the one that was looking like that, right? To that, that skin, that fair skin right there. Esau, that's the name, white. This is what he said to him, read. I am not sent. I didn't come for you, but I told the lost sheep of the house of Israel. I came for them. I didn't come for you, I came for them. Give me Revelation 13 and 9. In slavery, it, well, they, because you saw they put us in slavery, right? Are we going to do that to them? You don't think so? What if I showed you the Bible said that we would? When Christ come back, the, what they call the rapture. Y'all heard about that? What, you know, you heard about the rapture? A little bit? You heard about the rapture? What is it? What is it supposedly? When Christ come back, it's the end of the world, kind of? Yeah, when Christ come back, it's the end of the world. How is that going to look, though? Because we the Jews, you're a Jew from the tribe of Judah, Israelite. You're a Jew from the tribe of Judah, Israelite. When he comes back, what is he going to do? Is he going to bring everybody? No, you say no? You sure? Okay. What is he going to do? What is the end of the world going to look like? Only those who are truly children of God, those who are all, all and holy, are going to go with him. Okay. I like that. But let's say I was a Christian, right? Let's say I was a Christian, and I said, well, I believe on Jesus the way I want to believe on Jesus. Can I go? No, I can't go, because I'm not keeping the commandments. If, I'm go if I said that I believe on Jesus the same way I want to, you can't go, because you're not following what this book says. Come on, we need y'all to subscribe to help us push. We got a lot of work to do in North Carolina. The Carolinas need this work. Right. You know what I'm saying? The Carolinas need this work. So we need y'all to go and subscribe right now. Grab your finger. This one right here in particular. Right. Swipe the YouTube that you're probably already watching. Click the YouTube app. Right. Go to IUIC Riley page. Right up under there, it says subscribe. Click that button one time. Click that check. Subscribe to IUIC Riley. So all of this right here we have all of this out here just to show our people who they are right so the main reason why we're in this condition right now is why let me ask what's the reason why we are in this condition that we're in right now you don't know give me a wild guess you say because we're black all right i mean i expected that that's one all right what's another one you think they had went over to the shores of africa but hey let's go over there and get them niggas and then bring them over as slaves. Is it because we're black? Because there was a continent full of black people. They had, other, they had real Africans selling us, and they're dark as hell, and they sold us. So it's not just because we're black. What, what else, God? Slavery. All right, it is slavery. That's what we're talking about, right? But why did it happen? You don't know? All right, watch this. Give me verse two. I mean, verse three. The book of Isaiah, chapter one, verse three. Watch this. The ox knows his owner. Huh? And the ass, his master's crib. Right. But Israel, but Israel, doeth not know. Right. My people doeth not consider. So now, when he had, we had, when the officer had asked you what your nationality was, say African American, right? He said, my people don't know their nationality. They don't even consider where they're from. The mere fact that you don't know what nation, what nation you come from, proves that you are Israel. Right. That's a mere fact right there. But it also gets better. Watch this. Keep going. Ah, sinful nation. This nation is a sinful nation. Right. We do a lot of things opposite of God. Right. Right? I'm not talking Christianity here. Let's just get out of the way. All right? We don't believe in the whole cross, whole thing. We believe in Jesus Christ as the scripture said. Which That's is, right. Which is a black man according to the Bible. Right. Just a simple fact that this image is different means that there's a different doctrine that comes behind the way he taught. Now watch this. I'm going to show you something heavy. I'm going to show you something heavy. Watch this. Keep going. Laden with iniquity. These people, this people is laden and covered with a lot of sin. Watch this. A seed of evil doers. Okay. 
children that are corrupted. The children are corrupt, go ahead. They have forsaken the Lord. They don't remember God. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel uh, to anger. Jump, now jump down now. The book of Isaiah chapter 1 verse 9. So now yeah. watch this. Same chapter, but further down. Watch this. Except the Lord of hosts had left us a very small remnant. So except he had left a very few people that actually teach God the way that he actually is. Right? Except that. Go ahead. We should be as, we should have been as Sodom. We should have been as Sodom. Right. And we should have been like unto Gomorrah. Let me ask you what that's talking about. So he says, except he had left a very small few that would teach the people who they are, we all would have been as Sodom and Gomorrah. Right. What was the sin of Sodom and Gomorrah? Let me ask, what's your name, sis? Mika. Mika. Okay, Mika. What does that mean? What is, what is the sin of Sodom and Gomorrah? What did they do? Do you know? No? You ever went to church? Yeah. You did? Did they ever talk about it? I don't know. I, I rarely went to church, but anyway. Did they? Did they... No? Did they... Okay, what about you, sis? No? Did I get it right? I said sis. No? Ma'am. Okay. So, what about you? Do they know about Sodom and Gomorrah? Do you know about it? I'm sorry. If I actually finish, I didn't want to finish. Okay. So, now what's, what is it? You didn't know? Sodom and Gomorrah, they had a lot of the same sex going on there, right? In America, what is the main thing that they have that they pushed, especially, especially once Obama got into office? What's one of the things that they did? They had a lot, they pushed that rainbow agenda, right? They pushed that. So a big part of what they had there, when they pushed that rainbow agenda, they made a lot of us, if we didn't agree with it to do it, we was like, ah, let them be them, that's going to be on them. That means that you also still agree with it. Right. But he said this. He said, except there was a very small room. Let me read that again. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 9. Uh -huh. Except the Lord of hosts had left us a very small remnant. A very small remnant. Go ahead. We should have been as Sodom. We should have been like Sodom. And we should have been like unto Gomorrah. Like, I'll tell you this. Even when you're on TikTok. Y'all have a TikTok account? Okay, when y'all scrolling on there, do you think everybody on there is a woman? No? No, everybody isn't. But, because last night I was looking, and we actually do classes and when I was trying to scroll to find out some things I could teach. Y'all come in the shade, it's hot, you right, you right in the sun. So, I was looking, and then one of them actually said, help me out, a, tra a trans woman is, because this, I'm, I'm blanking on it. A trans woman is a woman that, uh, or a man that transitioned to a woman, or? That's what it is? Okay, and a trans man is a woman that trans, okay, all right. So it was a trans woman which means it was a male that transitioned to a woman. And the look of him was, I was like, yo, it's, it's like, it's deceiving. Like, why are you trying, what's the purpose of, let me ask you this, what's the purpose of somebody trying to transition to another gender and getting other people to believe that they're that gender? What's the purpose of it? Let me ask you that. Why do you think, why do you think somebody did that? Dig into the mind for a second. What's the purpose of me, th think about it like this, right? What's the purpose of me positioning myself, dressing myself as something else, also you and everybody else can believe that I'm something else. What's the purpose of that? There's no purpose. You say there's no purpose? There is, think about it. You should be comfortable with how you walk, right? Good, that's correct. But the reason why somebody would do it is because they want you to believe they're insanity. That's right. They want you to believe like, okay, the man that transitioned to a woman wants you to believe that he's a woman. Sure. Yes. When really he's a what? A man. The, the woman that transitions to a man wants you to believe that she's a man when really she's a what? A woman. Right. Exactly. So that's why I say except there was a very small, read that one more time. The book of Isaiah chapter 1 verse 9. Uh -huh. right. Except the Lord of hosts had left us a very small remnant. Right. We should have been as Sodom and we should have been like unto Gomorrah. Now here's the problem also. Go back to Deuteronomy 28. In verse 15, let me jump back. I'm gonna help y'all with some history, real quick. My brother, brothers, y'all know your nationality? What's your nationality? You asking him? I'm asking you. Uh, I'm gonna go first. I want you to go first. What's your nationality? Uh, I want him to go. First. Okay, so he don't know. What's your nationality? Um, African American. Okay, you say African American. You gonna say what you gonna say? No, you weren't. Because I gave you the chance. So look. You are not an African-American. 
that's not what you are. That's not your nationality. That's a fake identity. Right. Okay? It's a fake identity. Hey, matter of fact, say, uh, let me tell you, run my bag real quick. It's a blue and black Adidas bag. I want the, it's going to have no book cover on it, but the book is Battle on Timbuk 2. Yeah. Give me that. I want to show y'all some, some history. What do you see when you look at this? What do y'all see when y'all look at this? Get uncomfortable for a second. What do you see when you look at this? Let me start over here. What's your name? Yeah. Ashley? Uh -huh. Okay, what's your name? Mika. Alright, Ashley, Mika. See, I, all right. I, I knew I was talking about that for a reason. Alright, what's your name? John? Jaheem. Okay, Jaheem. That's easy. The singer, okay, I got you. You know what? You know the singer? You know what I'm talking about? Alright, Jaheem. My parents used to listen to you. You know, you know Jaheem. Uh, what about you? What's your name? Jaquelvis. 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 Okay, Jaquelvis. Are y'all leaving? Oh, that's. Alright, well, hey, y'all got our flight. Let me show y'all readers, alright? Alright, so Jaheem and Jaquelvis. Come into the gym. You got my book? All right. Go to page 80, I think it's 83. Now, what do you see when you look at this? All right, why is that important? Why is it important? It defines the struggles of the black people. Okay. Why did it happen? Let me, let me get, get Jaheen. Why did it happen? Okay, but I have an issue with that, right? In Africa, that continent is full of how many? What color people? Right. Okay. So they're still black people over there. If it was just because of black, why aren't they enslaved? If it was just because of being black, right? Why is it the whole continent over there in slavery? Or was it slavery? Now they had something that worked, but I'm not going to get into that. Why was the whole continent over there not in slavery? If it was just about us being black. You don't know? That's the, that's the point. The fact that you don't know answers my question. Because it ain't just about us being black. Right. It has nothing to do with us just being black. It's about who you actually are. Like, for example, look behind you. Now, he's, he's a lighter skin. Like, oh, look over here. He's a lighter skin right there, right? In Africa, here's a funny story. In Africa and Nigeria, Uganda, they actually call them white. But they ain't white. They're black. They do. So, anyways. It's not because you're being black. Your nationality is that you're an Israelite. Right, that's right. Your focus is everywhere. What, what you think about? I want you to focus right here. Oh, okay. Yeah, what's your, what's your, how old are you? 17? 16. 16. Do y'all read? You read? What's the last book you read? The last book I read was um, Percy Jackson. Percy Jackson? Yeah. The, the Olympian, uh, that, that thing? Yeah. Okay. How long ago was that? I gotta ask this before I get into it. I need to see how deep I can go with you. Two months ago? Okay. In school, so it's for like a report. Oh, okay. Alright, so you were forced to do it. Alright, it's now on free time. What about you? You read? Hades? Alright, so similar. Y'all go to the same school? You was forced to do it? By your school teacher? You had to do a report on it? No? You just actually picked it up and wanted to read it? Okay, alright. Alright, I was curious. So this is why I'm asking that. Now as far as it goes for it, look, this book right here. I read the hell out of it. It's called From Babylon to Timbuktu, right? In this book, they go through history about us. And it talks about us, right? Let me take a step back though for a second. Are we African? You say no. Okay. You say okay. What about you, uh Jacobus? Are we African? Our roots go back to Africa, but are we African? No. Then what are we? You say American? Okay. What about you? Same. American. Hey, does, does, does somebody have the Bible dictionary? Get, get the Bible dictionary. Somebody, anybody, and go to Ham. Go to Ham. What y'all know about the flood? Noah and the flood, the ark. You do? Tell me about it. Um, he had like a, I think a, I mean, he was told by God to build a, I think he was told by God to like build a, build a like a giant ship slash home for like animals and people and stuff to try and survive the flood that was coming. Okay. Right. All right. Especially animals. So he built a big, a big ship, which you ain't wrong. It's, it was so big, it was called an ark. Okay. And then what was that, what was the purpose of it, Jaheen? What was the purpose of that big ship?
It was the purpose of the big ship that uh, no one had to make. You want me to give it back to Jacobus? Yeah. Alright, Jacobus, what was the purpose yeah, of the big ship? I mean, like, like, like I said, it's trying to buy the clothes and like, in the, for, for people to like, survive, like, just in case they needed to. Um... Okay, yeah, right, alright, I was supposed to survive the flood. Now he has sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, right? Alright, so you might not know it, but I'm gonna help you out. He had three sons named Shem, Ham, and Japheth, okay? Jaheim? He had three sons named Shem, Ham, and Japheth. We come from the seed of Shem. That's where we come from. Now, Ham, I want to show you something with this. Give me that. Ham, perhaps hot. The, the yuck. Where, where you at? Give it to him. Go ahead, read that. Ham, the youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood. It was roughly 96. Go ahead. And one of eight persons to live through the flood. He became the progenitor. He became the forefather. Go ahead. Of the dark races. So look, right? Dark races. But let's see if he's talking about us. Watch this. Not the Negro. Not who? Not the Negro. So who does America call Negroes? Yeah, right? So now, the son of Ham, during the time of Noah, he said he's the forefather of the dark races in Africa, for example, right? Not us. He says, not the Negroes. But who? But the Egyptians, okay. Ethiopians, okay. Libyans, and Canaanites. All right, now, good. Now I'll go to the book. Now I want page 80. Go over one more page. All right. Where did we get shipped from? When we came over here from Africa, where did they pick us up from? They picked us up in the ship, right. But from where? Where did they get us from? We came, did we come from Europe? They picked us up from Europe? I mean, they did. The main place that you know about. Let me let me stick to the basics Africa. of it. All right, Africa. What, what part? East Africa, North, West, South? You say South Africa? What'd you say? You say North? Okay. I can tell that y'all school's not teaching. I can tell. Y'all reading, y'all reading bull crap like Percy Jackson and whatnot. They ain't got nothing inside of that. Y'all, y'all reading that stuff. But you know, in regards to your own history, I just want you to think about it for a quick second. I'm asking you basic questions that most other... If I asked a white person, right? And I asked them about their history. Your eyes are over there. And I asked them about your their history. They'll tell me. Part of the things that they do in school to actually destroy y'all is, for one, as young men, y'all have a hard time making eye contact with y'all men. Women, they'll look you dead in your eye, right? They ain't supposed, they're supposed to be more shamefaced. But as young men, y'all should have no problem looking somebody in the eye and then talking. But y'all looking all over here. That shows insecurity. That shows uncertainty. Right? That's what it shows. Look in my eyes as I'm talking to you. You understand me? You understand me? Okay, good. Now, right here, go to go to page 121. Go to page 121. I want to show y'all something. Y'all fathers at the house? No? Just your mom? Y'all brothers? No? Okay. He said just his mom. What about you? Like, uh, is it grandparents? Your other mom. So stepmom. No, like, he has a mom, but I have a mom with him. Oh, okay, I get it. I got you. All right, read this. It is the conclusion of some scholars that when the Jewish kingdom of Ghana fell, huh? many of the Hebrew tribes established settlements among the African tribes uh -huh. throughout Central and Western Africa. Throughout Central and Western Africa. Now, we was over in Central, the center, and Western Africa. Let me see. You see this right here? Let me, let me show y'all. I know y'all y'all help out with images. Back up a little bit. Central, that's right up in here, Central and Western Africa, right? Look at these arrows. Y'all see these arrows? What they say? Come here. What they say? What is this talking about? So in Central and Western Africa, that's where a lot of the Hebrew tribes are us. That's where we were at, right? What is this talking about? What do you notice? Read the map a little bit. What do you see? Okay, where well, we was taking that right. So you saw we was taking we was taken from where were we taken from? Uh Jahim. What were we taken from? What did it look like? Where the arrows start at? Okay, you see some Europe, but I'm saying where does it start at primarily? Where does it start? Right, it starts in Africa, right? 
Jacobius? Jacobius. Where did the, the arrows end up? Where does it finish off at? Right, so it says Europe and North and South America. Excellent. Good. So you saw we just read. It said a lot of the Hebrew tribes, they established themselves in Central and Western Africa. In Central and Western Africa, what do you notice? That's where we were getting souls from, right? But it just said Hebrew tribes in the book. So notice something. I'm helping you out here. So now that's showing that the Hebrews, not just because they were black, because the Hebrews, God's people, were sold from Central and Western Africa and shipped everywhere, just like we were, right? Now, watch this. Last part, watch this. During the period from Pompey to Julius, on, on this right here, I want to show you this. Matter of fact, let me read. Look at this. See this right here? I have it highlighted right here. I'm going to start right there where it says during. It says, during the period from Pompey to Julius, it has been estimated, or guessed, that over one million Jews fled into Africa, fleeing Roman persecution. That's white people, right? And slavery. The slave markets, where well, we were sold at, right? The slave markets were full of black Jewish slaves. You see that? So when the slave markets here in America, it was filled with who? Was it white people? Was it us? So what did the book just say we were? Black Jews. That's it. We're the Jews. Let me show you that now. Jeremiah 14 and 2. Hmm? After this, I got one more question. What color is Christ? Let me ask you. Okay, you say white. White? All right, good. Come on. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, verse 2. Judah morning. The Jews. That's talking about you. Y'all are the Jews of God. Y'all from the tribe of Judah. Right. All right? From the tribe of Judah. Boom. That's where y'all from. Same tribe Christ come from. Watch this. And the gates thereof language. And the leaders are lacking. We have no real leaders amongst us. Go ahead. They are black unto the ground. He says the Jews are what color? They are black unto the ground. Look, I want you to see. You still have the word? All right, you do. What, what book am I reading? Yeah, it's the Bible, right? Y'all parents force y'all to go to church? Uh, yeah. They do? Tell me. Now, in the church, I'm reading the same book. This is the Bible. In the Bible, it just said that the Jews are black. Do they ever go over that? Uh, yeah. Do they? Okay, I, I'm about to prove you wrong now. It just said that Judah was black. Both of y'all agree and say Christ was white. Can I find his image in the Bible? Huh? You said no? In Revelation. Step over this way. Over this way. No, no, no. Over this way. Look at these two images. No. Right? Look at those two images. So, what do you notice Keep checking about the, that one over there? The huh. darker screen. The black one. What do you notice? Black. Okay. Describe, describe how you look. Black robe with lions on it. Yeah, black robe with lions on it. I guess from the image it does look like really it's a real dark green. Yeah, you know, he have an afro, right? Afro beard, white of his eyes, red, right? It has a scripture underneath the way you can read it at. That's what we're about to read. What about this one over here? This bastard. The one that ever that the that the white man forced us to worship in slavery. What about this one? What about this bastard? The Bible calls them bastards, by the way. Okay, you have dog stringy hair, blue eyes, that God so loved the world image all over there. All of that is what was forced on us. You know what? Because y'all think that he looks like this, that means you'll treat each other like crap as you get older. Right. If we looked at each other like gods, we wouldn't treat each other like crap. But we look at them. When we see them, we look at them, them like that's God's people. That ain't God's people. God don't give a damn about them. Right. I can prove that. Look, I want you to see what book I'm reading. You see this Bible right here? This Bible says that he don't love everybody. You have a problem with that? No, sir. Do you? God don't love everybody. He don't love every race. He ain't with every race. He no, says sir. it clear and plain. That ain't my words. I'm going to show you before you leave. Give me this real quick. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So this is revealing how Christ looked. Go to 14. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. Watch this. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So who has white woolly hair out of these two? It's talking about Jesus. Who has white woolly hair? Okay, strike one against this one. This one don't have white woolly hair. Go ahead. 
as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. So the whites of the eyes, which one of these whites of the eyes are red? Strike two against this image. Go ahead. And his feet like unto fire brass. So what color is brass, Jahid? Brass. You don't know? Exactly. Like a type of brown. I feel like you do know. I think you're playing with it. I think you're playing with it. I, I, I'm pretty sure you're smart. And I can tell that when you're at school, you don't talk nothing like you're doing right now. I can get it. But anyway, uh, yeah, it's like a kind of brown. It's a kind of brown, right? So you take that brown, just like I can see like the top, the dent in the top of your feet, right? It's the same color as the rest of your body. John looked at Christ, and he described him from his head to his hands, looking to his eyes, and then he's looking at the color of his feet, comparing it to his body. He said, and his feet was like fine brass as what? As if they burned in a furnace. And if you take brass, or anything really, and burn it, what color does it come out? Nope. Black. It comes out black. Which one of these is closer to what we just read? Now, according to the Bible, Jesus Christ looks closer to that. That's right. This, every church, all up and down this block, all in Rocky Mountain, all over the world, says that he looks like this. That is a lie. Christ ain't a white man. He ain't white. That's right. Christ is black. Right. Right. Looks like you. If you had an afro and it was a little white with a beard, you'll look just like Christ. That's right. Facts. You'll look just like him. The same guy that this whole world acknowledges, knows, and tries to preach, you look just like him. They're lying on his name. They're right. lying saying that he loved everybody. He don't love everybody. He only care about you. Let me show right. you. Matthew 15, 24. He don't care about everybody. They had a, they had a white woman come up and ask him if, he, if she can be healed. A uh, daughter, at least. Right? I want you to see what Christ said to her. Read this. The book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said. Because they had one of these kind of people come up to him, right? And say, hey, heal my daughter from this sickness. He said to her, the one that was looking like that, right? To that, that skin, that fair skin right there. Esau, that's the name, white. This is what he said to him, read. I am not sick. I didn't come for you, but I told the lost sheep of the house of Israel. I came for them. I didn't come for you, I came for them. Give me Revelation 13 and 9. The slavery, is, well, they, because you saw they put us in slavery, right? Are we going to do that to them? You don't think so? What if I showed you the Bible said that we would? When Christ come back, the, what they call the rapture. Y'all heard about that? What, you know, you heard about the rapture? A little bit? You heard about the rapture? What is it? What is it supposedly? When Christ come back, it's the end of the world. Probably? Yeah, when Christ come back, it's the end of the world. How is that going to look, though? Because we the Jews. You're a Jew from the tribe of Judah, Israelite. You're a Jew from the tribe of Judah, Israelite. When he comes back, what is he going to do? Is he going to bring everybody? You say no? You sure? Okay. What is he going to do? What is the end of the world going to look like? Only those who are truly children of God, those who are all, all and holy, are going to go with him. Okay. I like that. But let's say I was a Christian. All right? Let's say I was a Christian. And I said, well, I believe on Jesus the way I want to believe on Jesus. Can I go? No, I can't go because I'm not keeping the commandments. Right. If I'm go, if I said that I believe on Jesus the same way I want to, you can't go because you're not following what this book says. Right. I got a heavy question for y'all. Before I read this, you got a girlfriend? You have you have girls that you like in your school? You lying? You have girls that you like? Yeah. You playing games with me? I can see it. Though. I have a brother that act like you, and every time that he says something in front of me. He'll pretend like he'll hang his head down, kind of look a little humble. But then behind the scenes, he he a menace. I, I, I know guys like him. So you're not fooling me. But go ahead. What about you? You have uh, girls that you like? I'm not going to let right now. Huh? I'm not. I'm not. Girls not my focus right now. The girls not your focus right now? What is? School stuff? Like what? I like that. That's different. I don't never, I'll never really hear young black men. Israelite men say that they always say always trying to damn play basketball or something like football. What you what you want to do when you grow up? Ask me that. What you want to do? Yeah, I told my mom I do the same thing too, like engineering, like tennis and stuff. I wasn't talking about no football at first. I was talking about okay, I'm gonna read that script that I have for you. But that's saying he goes to a college different, and he wants to go to what college you wanna go to? I don't know. 
You're not sure? Okay. Well, let's say, for example, I'm going to make one up. Let's say he wants to go to NC State, right? You applied, but you got denied NC State, but they accepted you over at Duke. You found for being separate from him? Okay. Because I'm, I'm asking that because I noticed that everything he says, he copied. That's why I asked. You noticed that too, right? He, he noticed it. Go ahead. The book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 9. Uh -huh. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Listen to this. He that leadeth into captivity. So who led us into slavery? What race of people brought us in chains? Right? Who, who led us? Race of people brought us in chains. Okay, there we go. Read it here. He that leadeth into captivity go shall go into captivity. So what is it saying about the same people that brought us in chains? They're going to go in chains. When Christ come back, he said, I'm going to break the same ones that put y'all in chains, I'm going to put them in chains. This is when Christ come back. Go ahead. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Same way they had did to us, we're going to do to them. Go ahead. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Right, patience, that's us, right? Keeping his commandments. Now, let me get to the thing about the job. Go to uh, Galatians 5.22. You don't, you say you want to be a possibly engineer also. Okay. Um, what kind of engineer? Simple? Automotive. Automotive? I like cars. Okay, <laughs> automotive? All right. So you just want to work on cars, or are you also looking at aviation? I am an RTC, so I might want to continue doing the Air Force. Okay, so you look, all right, so you're, you're going the road of a pilot then. Teach them back. Damn near. Either one. Either, either aviation uh, mechanic or pilot. All right, both of those are admirable careers. I, I, I agree with that. What about you? He's giving me description. I need description. You, Talk. What, 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 what you got? I do really not want to talk to the person, but I do like, I want to do like mechanics. Okay, you want to do mechanic also. What kind? Yeah. It, it's multiple. I can choose, but that's, that's a hard one. Yeah. You might want to make that decision. What grade are you in? Uh, I'm going to uh, finish a junior. going to be a junior in high school? Mm -hmm. What's your grades looking like? B's and you said D's or B's? B's. It's B's. All right, so you you straight B's across the board. Okay. You apply to any colleges? Uh, not right now. Why not? Uh, because I want to focus on what, what I'm doing here, what I'm gonna do at the university. Then around my senior year, I'm gonna apply for colleges. Okay, let me help you out. It's best for you to do your application per se, or know where you're gonna go and what you're gonna do right now, right? It's best for you to know right now. Like for example, just to compare, like he has an idea about exactly where he want to go, right? Just for example. And so he already, I'm sure you, you don't know what college you want to go to, but you would already know what you want to do. So when it's time for you to apply, you're gonna know what you gotta go, right? Yes, you're, are you a senior or a junior? I'm about to be a senior. You're about to be a senior, so, and you're about to be a junior. Okay, all right, I got you. So it's a one year grade difference. You might want to start applying. Yes, sir. Reason why I'm saying that is because it is. Um, where you at? Now, nah, you know what I want to say? Give me, um, give me Proverbs chapter 10, verse 5. What's going on, bro? Real quick, I'm dealing with my young brother. Hey, check out what we got, and then we'll bring you right on in. All right? Check out what we got. Let me say this. As far as it goes for your decision that you make right now, it's going to impact you for the next 10, 20 years. So, whatever the grades that you got, you got, what, what grades do you have? Most like his with exception of a couple of A's. A couple A's? So y'all, y'all up for grabs for valedictorian salutatorians though. Alright, I hope so. We need more of that. This is what I'll say though. You might want to actually do this. Let, let me read this real quick. Go ahead. Proverbs chapter 10 verse 5. Uh -huh. He that gathereth in the summer is a wise son, uh -huh. but he that sleepeth in the harvest is a son that causes change. So now, you don't want to get older and then all you're known for is sleeping. Playing video games all day, whatever the case is. You don't want to be known for that. You want to be known to actually be a go-getter, right? The scriptures teach us how as men, we're supposed to think, move, act, walk, talk. That's how we're supposed to do, how we're supposed to feel, right? All of this understanding who you are is for the purpose for you to be able to use this book, not just for some Christian preaching, tap dancing garbage that you see in the church. That's all hogwash. That whole thing is crap, all right? This book is meant for you to be able to reform and change your life and move accordingly, all right? I don't know where y'all got to go, but I want to let you get to help and teach and edify, not just you, also my brother right over here, all right? So, uh, hey, Gam, you were a teacher, weren't you? Uh, yeah. 